Silver Chains, is this a good game or is this a bad game? Jesus Christ! Let's play it and find out. Oh, I've woken up. God. When is this set? God, I crashed into a tree. Yeah, no kidding. What is this, fucking 1930? There's a spooky mansion in front. Oh. Spooky mansion in front of us. Sprint, man. Sprint. They're almost there. Oh, fuck. Oh, hello. I was going to say it's kind of like uh, the first Outlast game. Just a big mansion. Big hundred year old building. Oh. And he's dead. Well, that, that was the game Silver Chains. I hope you liked and, and enjoyed this video. <laughs> oh, and we're back. Look at that. He's alive. <laughs> Check that out. Why the tree, though? Can't move. It's just a tree. Oh, and it's lit. Peter, we need to leave quickly. Who's Peter? How did I get here? The last thing I remember is an accident in this house, but I packed. Fuck, man. I want to take my time reading. Ayo. Uh. Hello. Oh, I can. Oh, that's not a good sign if I can hide in cupboards. The note in the mirror, the key in the library. Hmm. What could be there? Do, 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 do. Take. Oh, it's press I to open the inventory. October 31, 1900. Oh, well, wow, it's kind of close then. 1900. I'm left completely alone. All of the maids resigned out of fear for their lives. I can't believe them. I would run away too, if I could. But what's done is done. I cannot hide. I cannot sleep. I hear them laughing and talking all the time. And this demonic giggling. It's driving me crazy. I know there is only one way to get rid of it. To get rid of all of this. This is my last entry. Goodbye. Oh, space butter. Okay. That lightning truly really loud. Press F to open inventory. Hey, yeah. Uh, it's not letting me. Oh, Q to close it. Q. Oof. Dark room. It's so dark in here. That's what I just said, man. Oh, hello. I need a key for it, huh? Okay, okay, okay. So the key for this is in the library. Uh, let's. Uh, what's this? I'm... I don't like this. One... That does... Oh, hello. T to pull out... Slash remove lamp. Oh, God. I hope this torch is unlimited. I don't want no fucking... I don't want, I don't want no amnesia shit going on. The house seems abandoned, but the lights are on. Maybe someone is here. Oh, saving. Fuck. Fuck, dude. The football just randomly fell. What the fuck? Oh, wait a minute. Damn. Alright. Walled. Oh, God. Oh, hey. Whoa. It's a little chimney sweeper, isn't it, Gav? Gavna? Saying it before someone else does. He got his ball and went cheerio. Ooh, a letter. What we got here? September 5th, 1900. My maids hear me screaming and call Dr. Morgan after the incident without my knowledge. Maybe they did the right thing, but I'm sure that I heard that terrifying voice. I tried to explain it to the doctor, to doctor. But he was convinced that I, that it was a side effect of my medication. He said it may have caused hallucinations because I misused it. So I was prescribed a new medication and Dr. Morgan asked our new nanny to make sure that I take it correctly. Maybe it was a hallucination after all. I don't know, chief. I don't know. I'm waiting for a jump scare any moment now. Any minute now. Okay, it doesn't say I can hide under the bed, so that's good. Uh, that's not good though. What have we got here? Take. Let's play. I would rather not. Thank you very much. 
What's this little shit doing now then? Huh? I missed whatever it was because I was too busy looking at this. Let's turn her off for starters. I'm getting the chills, man. The chilly willies, the heebie jeebies. The, uh. We all float down here. You float too. Oh, I'm gonna get dragged, aren't I? I'm gonna get grabbed. I got both. Nice. Totally didn't see that coming now, did I? Use was to rotate. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, important. Don't forget to lock the backstairs door and leave the key in the utility room. P.S. Children are not allowed to play in the kitchen. So he died in the kitchen, huh? Wait a minute. Come in, it says. Oh, hello. So there was something in this room. God damn it. So it's in here? Push this. Nice. Nice, nice. Why am I pushing this? Oh, wait a minute. This is where I go. I climb up. I can't reach it. Ah. It's to reach for the key. Okay. Is there like a... over here? There we go. <coughs> Alright, let's go back. Over here. Bada bing. Bada boom. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, nice. Got it. So this key is for this door, right? Hello! Stairs up and stairs down. I feel like we should go down rather than up. Very pretty. Oh. Mom's getting beaten up again by dad. <laughs> Classic mom and dad. This is the kitchen then, right? Kids aren't supposed to be in the kitchen. August 21st, 1900. My beloved Harold died yesterday. She. Looks like this woman started to have problems after her husband's death. Oh shit. Hey yo. No. No pizza here. Who is? Ah, well I'm not pizza though, so it's fine, right? The warning, I met someone in the dining room. It was a little girl, or at least looked like her. Ah, so, oh, fuck's sake, man. Well, anyways, there's a little girl that's telling me mommy is looking for me. And just like the rest of the people on the internet, we too are looking for a mommy. Hello? August 17, 1900. Dear Diary, the day before yesterday, my Harold came back after a long journey. I missed him so much, and our children couldn't be happier. Finally, the whole family was back together. Yesterday, we spent all day together, and he told us stories of his adventure. He brought us so many presents, our children were very excited about all the toys and the dolls that he brought. Harold is feeling unwell after all, after a long ride home. I think he's just tired. I'll go draw him a nice hot bath. They were happy for such a short time. Why does my guy kind of sound like Harry Potter? Ay ay ay, how big is this mansion? Something just laughed after doing that. Jesus Christ, man, this place is big. This is layout kind of... I don't know, I was, I was getting like Layers of Fear, the first version of the game, before they fucked about and released the terrible second one, by the looks of it, in my opinion anyways. Holy shit. Oh, it's a little kid helping me. Any second. 
and now you're a spooky bitch. Fuck off. Danger. A tall, terrifying woman chased me. No doubt that she wants to kill me. Apparently it was the mother a little girl warned me about. Fuck man, that goes too quickly. Thanks kiddo for the uh, for the direction there. Ah, maybe Peter is the uh, renamed Harold grown up. And the little girl is his sister who died and she's helping me escape Mama dear. Mother dear, mother dearest. Oh, I remember this lamp. It contains a secret. The hell was that sound though? I think it works as a lever. Okay. Let's have a look at this lamp though. W R S to move handle. Right. How am I supposed to? I have no idea what I'm doing. Strange sounds coming out of the closet. Sounds like there's something behind this closet. I, I, I what? Oh, my screen froze. Oh, okay. I lock it with the photo inside. There's me and some woman whose face I cannot recognize. I've seen a broken sconce somewhere. Maybe I need to put it back in place. Ah, can I just jump? Just jump across. Wait, there's an X pointing upwards. Is there something here? Oh my. Well, hello there. Maybe that's why there was the weird noises on the... on the... She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Get in there, boy! Get in That spooky bitch got nothing on me. As long as I'm in here. Holy shit. Anybody else get scared from that? Any of you guys watching this? Shit your pants. Piss. Maybe even... Nah, what's here? September 14th, 1900. Dear Diary, I don't understand what is happening in this house. I don't trust anyone. Last night I woke up and went to check on the kids. When I entered the room, I noticed the smell. The same smell that always accompanied Harold when he returned from a hunt. I looked under the bed and found the decapitated remains of animals. There was so much blood and it was mixed with dirt and bits of fur and that stench and it was all under the beds of my children. I took the kids to my room and ordered the servants to clean the mess. Who could have done such... Who could have done something like that? It seems to me that someone is trying to drive me crazy on purpose to take away the only thing I have left. My children. Dead animals in the children's room? That's terrible. Right, Harry? How could they do such a thing? Open this. Inspectorino. Souls of the dead will never fulfill your request just like that. They like to make riddles and come to you only after you solve their riddles or fulfill their requests. Usually these puzzles are connected with their lives somehow. In order to solve them, I have to rummage through their past and learn all sorts of details of their lives. Thanks to the diaries, it was not difficult, but with children it's not so simple. Basically, they want to play. The games are unusual. Sometimes the dead build barriers in the present through which a human can't pass. They open them. Only if you fulfill their conditions. But we must remain... Uh, but we must remember that they see the world quite differently.
made quite the mess of a room just to show me a picture of some lady and saying, find. I need to find the other part of the photo. Here you go. There we are. That's another piece. I just need one more now. Oh, it's right here. Look at that. I found it. Ooh, flashbang. Uh-oh. I found my portrait. I was on that photo. Does it mean that they're my family? Timmy and Ellie are my brother and sister. Oh, then there's my mother. But who is the woman with a noose appeared around her neck? Something might have happened here. I can't remember anything. I reckon... I reckon the person with the noose around her neck is the nanny. Oh, and the room's reorganised too. Nice. Holy shit! Holy shit, what was that? What was that, guys? Do you think it's that spooky bitch? Let's have a look. Oh, we're back up here now. We're back up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're back up. We're back on the top floor again. Oh, hello. Sneak. Sneaky, sneaky. The lamp secret. Rotate the lamp five times clockwise, three times counterclockwise, six times anticlockwise. What? To get a key. I didn't know this was a rather kinky household. August 27th, 1900. A week has passed since Harold left us. <coughs> he changed after the trip. I couldn't recognize him. Like a naive idiot. I thought that he was just tired. How could I have not noticed? I could have helped him. Every day the guilt is tearing me apart and I can't stop thinking about it. I want to be with my Harold. But for the sake of our children, I'm still alive in this damned world. My maids are worried about me. They called a doctor who prescribed some medication for me. He says that it should help me cope with the grief. But I seriously doubt that. I lost the love of my life. But he was right about one thing. I'd locked myself away from everyone, from my children too. He recommended a friend of his, a nanny, who could look after the children. They need someone and I need to rest in, in bed. I wouldn't have trusted that nanny, that son of a bitch. 536, 536, 536. Oh shit! Holy shit! That was, uh. something. Anyways, 536, right? 536. 536. Uh. Okay. There we go. Second floor corridor. Nice. Here we are. This might be a long video. <laughs> My bad, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Okay, I didn't. Jesus Christ, man! Fucking hell! Use the monocle. One, two, three, so four steps forward, two steps right. And it's there. Well, shit. So from here. One, two, three, four. One, two. I assume. Wait a minute. Did I just find that without the monocle? 
excuse me, sir, but uh, this isn't a child's game, okay? It may be from Hasbro, but you shouldn't be playing with this, especially when you've only got one arm. Oh, one arm, Timmy over here. All right, let's play a game. Peter, help us, it says. Who are you? Let me out of here. I'm your father. I can help you out. Just help us. I don't remember that I had a father. I don't believe you. You went out to get milk. That's all I know. You are here because of us. You have to remember the spell, which is devouring us for 12 years. 12 years ago, we saved you at the cost of our lives, but we are here and forever stuck. We can't get out of here. You're the only one who can set us free. Where are you? Well, my soul is in this puppet. It is necessary to find all the parts of this puppet and remove the spell. I somehow How doubt that. The map. And where be the map? Oh, this is the map, right? So there's a leg. One, two, three, four, five steps forward, huh? So down. No, wait. South, southeast, southwest, north. South, southeast, southwest, north. What does that mean? One hour later. It's been an hour and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Let's just fucking explore. Jesus Christ, man! Why would you do that, you stupid little bitch? Are you supposed to be on my side? Look at this old timer, huh? Oh. Oh, I see. So this... This goes that way. Wait, 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 wait. This goes that way. That one's that way, so I'm missing one of them things. Alright, paper. September 9, 1900. The day has switched places with the night because of my new medication. I sleep all the time, and only at night do I have enough strength to get out of bed. Last night I heard little wooden sounding steps and giggles. Laughter left this house long ago. I wonder if it was the children fooling around and went to check on them. But they were sleeping soundly in their beds. In the second floor corridor, I met Nanny Tamsin. Tamsin? What a name. She looked at me as if she'd seen a ghost and dragged me into the next room. Then she gave me my medication and told me I was not allowed to leave the room. I angrily knocked those damn pills out of her hands. Why the hell do I need to spend all day in that room? Can I not even see my children? I spend so little time with them. They need mother. Not that Nanny Tamsin. What was she doing up so late? She's beginning to worry me. This woman must be lost, but I don't remember anything from my childhood. So I need to find some little wooden piece to go on that portrait. Oh, hello. What's this? Damn, Roman numerals. What's this for? Oh, hello. I can interact with the piano. Moonlight Sinatra. I actually unironically like Moonlight Sinatra. The pianist, play the piano. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I played the piano. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Uh, don't go You know what? I'm gonna give up on this game. <laughs> like, I, I'm so lost and confused and I just don't understand a damn thing. 
Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what this guy has to show for us on the Silver Chains game. Because I have no idea where the fuck I'm. I'm I have no idea what I'm doing. Walking, walking. Oh, yeah, uh, you know what? Let's just. Oh, wait a minute. What? How do you do that? How's he doing that? Genuinely. Huh? Look, it's right there. Grab it. I don't have time for this. What do you do next? You've already got the leg. The part of the puzzle. Just go back to the frame. Go, 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 go. Speed run. Speed. There we go. Ah, that kind of looks like a Layers of Fear reference, no? There's Chucky. This is something else. What in there? What? I didn't I didn't have that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Go, 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 go. There you go. Go, 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 go. Speed it up, geezer. Oh. Average VTuber enjoyer when they're not live. Holy shit. Oh, what a fucking tedious game this is. What else happens? He finds his dad. And there he is, he goes outside. He makes a run for it. Oh, shit. Huh? You just escaped. What the fuck? This is bullshit. Huh? Ugh. Look at that. That's the actual mom. Huh? Anyways, fast forward. Back in the attic. Oh, being chased. He's got it back in the circle. Oh shit, he stabbed himself. Now what's going on? Finally escapes. Look at that. They're all... I think they all died. That's what's happened. They all die together now. There it is. That's the end of the game. Look at that. That's it. Thank you, Max Horror, for showing us what happens. But uh, yeah, there you have it. But that's the end of the Silver Chains video. Yes, I will be yoinking somebody else's video at the end there because I couldn't be asked trying to solve it myself and figure out all the key bindings and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. So, you know, you know what to do. Bye-bye.